welcome back guys uh, after many days I decide to do some uh, video on uh, the practical purposes of uh, microbiology because I'm a person of microbiology and I haven't done so much of video on microbiology and especially these are the basics of microbiology practical so let us talk about the practical microbiology and among them will be in this first video we'll be talking about just the introduction to that so practical practical microbio and this is an intro about that practical microbiology so let's talk about it now I'm going to say many important scattered things first in this video because you need to get started with different instrumentation and different whole different kind of practical because a lot of practical that we are dealing with in microbiology are obviously dealt with the uh, microorganisms right so microbiology is obviously dealt with microorganisms microorganisms an example mostly of the microorganisms are going to be bacteria in our opinion bacteria in our opinion so once we are uh, dealing with bacteria now what we need to do we need we can't see bacteria with our bare eye right so we need to see bacteria using uh, the machine called microscope we all know that so we need to use a microscope microscope to see to see this bacteria so let's let's write it down in a table like form so we need to see for seeing those microorganisms we need to hold on to microscope right and we can't see bacteria even uh, with the microscope without being coloring those those bacteria because they are colorless and they are very very thin as you as you all know so you can't really see them you light can directly pass through that part and you can't visualize them so visualize them properly we need to stain them right so we need to color them so coloring is termed as staining so the second thing we require is coloring them coloring them and coloring those uh, microorganisms can only be done using staining right this is the second thing that we are going to learn microscopy staining is another thing so you take this bacteria or whatever microorganism it is you need to color them using staining processes then you need to put them into the slide because you, know, you cannot see it bare eye so you need to prepare slides so you, you may require slide you put the bacteria onto the slide you stain it after that you use a microscope to see that bacteria or any other microorganisms like fungi and all these things so that's the very basic thing to visualize uh, the microorganism under the microscope so that's the first general type of process now once you visualize them now for this is this is kind of one side of it so visualization except for that you need to do many other tasks for example sometimes you need to not only see them but you need to grow them right because to understand them uh, you need to examine them so for examining them you need to grow them right so this is for seeing so visualization this is for visualization and if you look at now we look at growing growing and growth now for the growth of the microorganisms what else you can do you need to culture them what we call about growing we simply term as culturing culturing microorganisms right and uh, culturing of microorganisms is nothing different than the growing of any other things because you know for the growth what we require we require food that's a simple answer so we require food for growing so we put food for microorganisms for microorganisms mo means microorganism here so we need to put food for microorganisms so that they can grow on it now it's very easy to grow microorganism because what you need to do is simply need to supply some food and we need to add the microorganism there a very tiny and little amount of microorganism there and those tiny amount of microorganisms start to eat that food and start to grow on that food or over that food right so it's very very easy just like you see many microorganisms go growing in front of your eyes because you know uh, though they're not micro you can see with your eye but they are very small like you all, all already know different types of mushrooms they are growing all all the way when uh, monsoon came and many different kind of conditions when there is a lot of moisture and dead materials so those type of uh, mushrooms and all those type of fungi start to grow over those dead materials and food 
right so these are the same type so they can grow on to that food material on the food surface that's it right we need to put a matrix so that they can hold on to it and second thing we need to put the food source which contains all the nutrient sources for the growth of microorganism and it's not again a kind of different thing because uh, the nutrition that microorganism require is not very much versatile than human being they are a uh, very basic type of organism they take very basic type of uh, food materials and the example of those food material uh, is uh, so so we'll be talking about those food right so so these are uh, so you need to use this culturing process to grow them so you, we use uh, microorganism uh, microscopy to visualize them we use culturing process to grow them so two um, of the important things we have done right so these are the major two things that you need to know uh, and grow for microorganisms and other other things now once you have done this thing now what else you need to do sometimes you need to look for the number of microorganisms you need to count the number of microorganisms right so that's also required when once you're dealing with them right so it's simply like like a uh, microorganism like your pet if you're a microbiologist and you are going to work a lot with microorganisms so they are going to be like your pet you need to see them you need to take care of them you need to grow them you need to food uh, apply food for them so many things are, re are required there so similarly sometimes you need to count right so to count to count them and look for them what whether uh, what's the structure and what they are doing actually you need to count so counting can be done using microscopy two important processes there it is using microscopy uh, uh, the simple type and also you can use a process called you can use a process called uh, what we know as cell sorting machinery so cell sorting machinery uh, we can also use to 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 know the number of bacteria or any other microorganism cells present in a particular solution confirmly or directly these two are kind of direct processes these two are kind of uh, or, uh, cell sorting is also termed as flow cytometry so you can go for it these are the high profile techniques but except for that the general process of knowing whether there is microorganism present in your medium or culture media that's what you call it the food for the microorganisms are called culture media remember they are called culture media so in the culture media whether they are microorganisms or not how you can uh, look for them to know that there is a very very basic process and that basic process is simply uh, the colorimetric uh, process simply you need to check the OD right so optical density check is the most simple is the simplest way for knowing whether there is bacteria or other microorganism present in the culture media or not right so you can look for them by looking at the viscosity of the medium so these are the things the everything these are the things that are related these are the things that are required throughout the place visualization growing and counting those, those microorganisms now remember microorganisms are everywhere literally literally they are everywhere wherever you are looking at it wherever you are touching everywhere is uh, there are presence of huge number of microorganisms and they can grow anywhere literally that's what i understand throughout the microbiology career but uh, the important thing is that for that reason so suppose you need to grow a particular type of microorganism so it's the most important task that it should not be contaminated by other microorganisms which are undesired because you know literally they are everywhere so you need to go against contamination right so you need to exclude unnecessary ones you need to pick only those microorganisms you require to work with right so that's the most challenging part about those microorganisms and about the microbiology uh, for, for culturing uh, bacteria and other microorganisms in the lab so for that reason what you need to do you need to sterile certain things before starting this process you need to sterile each and every materials that is going to contact directly with your culture media or uh, the microorganism right or your desired microorganism right so you need to sterile sterile those things so sterile sterilization i must write here sterilization sterilization is another very very important stage for micro microbiology and any kind of culturing process whether it's a microbiology culture or cell culture of animal cells and whatever so sterilization is very much required probably one of the most important thing you should take care of before even visualizing growing them because sterilization comes first so you need to sterilize them and for sterilization what we can do you can use different sterilizing processes you can use chemical sterilizer but mostly we use uh, 
steam sterilizers called autoclave autoclave means which are steam sterilizers okay you can use dry heat as a sterilizing approach you can also use chemicals and other materials but these are this autoclaving is the most convenient way to sterilize all of the thing right so we will be talking about all of these different techniques like sterilization for microbiology counting the cells we will be talking about growing them we will be talking about visualizing them and all these different parts we'll be talking about in the future video so this is all about how to connect this different thing how to how, how how to work with a particular bacteria or microorganism in your lab visualizing so you need to sterilize first all these things whatever is in direct contact with with your culture media or with your bacteria of desire then you need to visualize uh, via staining and microscopy then you need to grow them in culture media you need to count them and then you need to do rest of the job whatever is there but these are the major basic techniques you must learn as a microbiologist in the very first duration of your course right so for these different purposes you know different machineries are required different glass wires are required for example for microscopy you require microscope for staining you require you definitely require those uh, those slides and cover slips right and for growing this th this uh, particular bacteria you need to require special media called uh, call, called food food containing media and also the matrix you need to provide the solid matrix and the matrix here always work like agar agar we'll be talking about them later in detail and we need to have a glassware like petri dishes because it is having large surface area so that the bacteria can easily grow because they usually grow onto the top of their food matrix right and uh, for counting them also you require microscope and for od checking you require different colorimeters so many machines are required for this process if you are a microbiologist you start doing your lab your practical your lab work you start to see many different basic machines that should be there and obviously for growth i have i missed a point that for growing those microorganisms not only food source is important but also temperature plays a vital role and for the temperature we need to manage the temperature because they usually grow at room not at room temperature actually at physical temperature like 37 degrees celsius temperature to 48 degrees celsius temperature to 40 45 degrees celsius temperature for 24 hours to 48 hours depending upon the type of bacteria and other microorganisms you are dealing with so for that type of heating you require a heater or incubator so incubator incubator is another very very important uh, machine for these microbiologists and you should not you, you sh these are the very basic things you should require all of these things for the process and 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 also uh, after sterilization what you need to do you need to culture uh, for the culturing process you require another machine where you you must have done all those transferring task because you know air is filled with microorganism so if you are doing this in your simple working desk open air uh, you it will catch huge amount of contamination so sterilization won't play a vital role in that case so what you need to do you need to do this in a sterilized room or in a sterilized uh, region where there is no microorganisms or which is microorganism free for that we need to use separate type of cabinet that is called as laminar air flow machine or laf we also say laminar air flow or laf machine so these are the very very basic things you you must have an incubator a lab a culturing media you must have your uh, desirable bacterial culture should have autoclave in your lab a microscope stains so these are the very very primary thing most primary thing about all the basic microbiology tasks and and works that you need to start in the lab so these are the things and now in the future video we'll be talking about each of those sections in detail and we'll be talking about them.